right. So we're here with YCL season nine, season seven. I'm sorry. That was just stupid. YCL season seven. Uh, we face uh, SS side Braves and his Nashville Needle Kings, I believe it is. I could be wrong. I do apologize to side Braves if I got it wrong. I think that's your team name. I, I didn't write it down this time, which is actually kind of kind of bad for me because usually I'm really good at writing down that kind of stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Stay right there. Stay right there. Wait. Wait. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. He's scrolling. He's scrolling. Hold on. Hold on. He's scrolling. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Weedon boys. Nashville. Nito can see. I was right the entire time. You see, when you're when you're me, when you're him, it doesn't get better like this. Anyways, um, we fight Cy Braves. Uh, this is an interesting team. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Cy Braves drafted Sylveon on his first round, then followed it with Iron Treads, Gyarados, Gudra, Chiyu, Breloom, Lycanroc, Dust, Drake Cloak, Gumshoes, and Pachirisu. His Terra Captains are Gyarados and Drake Cloak. Our team is above, which our Terra Captains are Venomoth and Colossal. And alongside those Pokemon, we have Iron Valiant, Cyclozar, Grimmsnarl, Dundozo, Bronze on Kilowattril, uh, Berserker, and Murkrow. First thing on the scene they have to really recognize is Chiyu. Very dangerous Pokemon. Uh, alongside Lycanroc Dust, very great revenge killers and very great setup sweepers if allowed to. Uh, his quickest Pokemon being Lycanroc is not that bad for us because our quickest Pokemon is, I want to say, Cyclozar. So as long as we keep Cyclozar around, uh, we should be fine. Uh, surprisingly, Breloom gives us a lot of issues. I would say that only because we don't have a grass and our best Pokemon to really counter it is damn Venomoth, um, which isn't bad by any means necessary, no. But Venomoth is just a weird Pokemon to use here because there's Gudra who could be a Spideff, uh, sponge against like Special Iron Valiant, Special Grimsnarl, Kilowattro mostly, and also Venomoth. Um, Iron Treads, 106, I think, or 103 or 106 speed. Fast motherfucker, I didn't know that. And he's very, uh, very hard to uh, break open, given that our offensive fire is a colossal and everything else that we have offensively, it could just cover itself for with Chobble Bear of some sort. So not the greatest going on there against Iron Treads, not gonna lie to you. Outside of that, um, Sylveon is scary and so is Gyarados. Um, but then really it's just those top seven. I don't think Drake, Low Gumshoes, or Patrice are coming. If they do, better for us more than likely. Um, we definitely think Gyarados is going to be Terra typing into electric or ground this week. Helps him overcome Dundozo. Maybe if I'm not like, if like, like unaware is cool. And I'm definitely would like to bring Dundozo in that way. And it'll definitely help him start to chunk it. It also helps him beat Kilowattro if he's trying to avoid super effective damage as well as being ground type. Would definitely help him against Kilowattro as well. Cause that seems like the main Pokemon on my team that definitely would, uh, make him think twice about bringing it, but you never know. Um, otherwise, our team is kind of just like we're not bringing Berserker or Murkrow. I don't think they'd be good this week. I think Berserker had a chance, but there's a Chiyu, so I'm going to wait till we don't have to deal with Chiyu. Murkrow never had a chance, so there's that. Everything else had a valuable chance, but the ones that we're not bringing, uh, Grimmsnarl, uh, I couldn't figure out a good way to bring it because of Lycanroc, Dusk, and the aforementioned Iron Treads. And sure, we could bring screens and be fine. Grimmsnarl wouldn't be as fine. I mean, like everything else would be cool. Um, Dondozo, I kind of mentioned it and kind of inferred that I wouldn't be brilliant. Braylon breaks are wide open uh, with Technician Bullet Seed. And in general, a lot of Pokemon can do a lot of damn things to Dondozo. So I think it's worth bringing this week. Um, but so we have Iron Valiant, Cyclozar, Bronzong, Venomoth, Kilowattro, and uh, Colossal. So let's go over the team. So the first uh, Pokemon we're bringing is Bronzong. Uh, we have the Akaberry set with Celthrog, Body Press, Trick Room, and Gyro Ball. 252 HP, 180 Spadef, and 76 in defense with the Impish Nature. This, I forgot what it allows us to take, but it definitely helps us take on Crunches from Gyarados. Um, we definitely want to put up rocks this game. I know, very crazy about me, me putting up rocks, insane. Um, but with this set, uh, we don't exactly beat, uh, what's that thing's name? Chiyu. We can body press it twice in Trick Room, and as long as we have Rocket Bear, we'll live at least one. I think we live a non-choice specs Dark Pulse, so that's also really good. But in general, uh, Bronzong is really just here to get up rocks and do what it can. It's not really here for much. I'm just gonna body press and Jarrah Ball until it dies. Honestly, once I get up rocks, if I have an opportunity to get up Trick Room, then I will. But with our other Pokemon, it very much depends on how the situation's going. Obviously, it's not one of our Terra Pokemon, so we don't have to really assign a Terra type. 
Uh, Venomoth is up next. Heavy Duty Boots, Tinted Lens, Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz, Sludge Ball, Morning Sun, 52 HP, 12 Defense, 4 Spidef, 252 Special Attack, and 180 Speed and Timid. Uh, this allows us to beat Gyarados Max Speed. So essentially, um, if Gyarados is not boosted, we can hit it pretty hard with Bug Buzz or Sludge Bomb. Morning Sun because Venomoth lost Roost and Quiver Dance is pretty obvious. Um, this set behind a Shed Tail Sakazar uh, definitely can go to work if we get in the right situation. Of course, we are Terra Fighting only because of Lycanroc being very dangerous to us. And additionally, um, Dark Pulsing or like Choice Specs or Choice Scarf, Dark Pulsing, Chiyu. We obviously eat those hits a lot better and we can Morning Sun. And maybe we could potentially Quiver Dance, but that really depends on the situation. But yeah, Fighting was definitely what I wanted to go with here. Um, there's not really much else Venomoth needs in this matchup currently. I feel like Steel would be worse because of Chiyu and Breloom. Otherwise, when you really think about it out loud, um, there's not a lot of great Terra types for Venomoth this game. And really, it's not our primary Terra Pokemon, so there is that. We have Venomoth. Oh, we cycles our next Chobble Berry. Shed Tail Acrobatic Trial Charge uh, Dragon Claw. We take one Mock Punch, and it never brings us below 50%, or at least has a low chance to. At Life Work Technician Adamant, I'm pretty sure, or something of that sort. Um, then we can Shed Tail, or you just Acrobatics to Breloom, get it out of there, and then we can Shed Tail afterwards. Um, or you just switch out manually. Um, Cycles is very important because getting off that Shed Tail for something like Venomoth or Iron Valiant is very, very key. But even like getting in Bronzing or uh, Kilowattral is very good from a defensive standpoint in case Iron Treads is in. So then we could take an Earthquake. Obviously, we wouldn't have to take it, but I go into Bronzo more than Wattrell. Um, but there is that. Uh, don't really need to change this terror type, obviously. I don't have to keep mentioning that. Um, if it's Cyclozar versus Gyarados turn one, I'm going to wild charge it. I don't care. Um, I highly suspect he might want a terror uh, for turn one, but I'm just going to hit the shit out of him and see what happens, honestly. But if he doesn't uh, terror turn one, then he's a dead Gyarados. How unfortunate. We have Iron Valiant next with the Berry Berry, Close Combat, Thunder Punch, Spirit Break, and Swords and Dance. Obviously, we're going to need that sub from Cyclozar. So basically, with the Berry Berry, we take all, I would say, Iron Heads and Heavy Slams from Iron Treads. Maybe not at minus one. We just want to set up because if it's Chobble Berry Iron Treads, then at least at very minimum, at plus two, we'll always kill it. Um, unless he's like superly like max defensive Chobble, but I highly suspect he won't be. Uh, Thunder Punch is mostly just there for Gyarados, and obviously once you get up an SD, a lot of Pokemon start falling. We need rocks up so we can get rid of Lycanroc pretty easily, because Lycanroc will definitely probably be a Focus Ash or Hearthstone or some other item. So we definitely want Iron Valiant to be as healthy as possible and don't want to bring it in too often. Uh, we want to make sure that we get the game going for us in our favor, at least, before we bring in Iron Valiant. This was originally Boost Energy, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but Berry Berry is just better overall for Steel Attacks in general. Uh, so yeah, there's that. We have Watrell or Kilowattrel, the uh, Choice Scarf, uh, Kilowattrel, obviously. Uh, Volt Switch, Tailwind, Thunderbolt, Air Slash. Basically, we're just defensive or like bulky Kilowattrel to live in Accelerock from Lycanroc, which allows us to get off at least a Tailwind. And then the second Accelerock will probably kill us uh, more than likely, but at least we get off a Tailwind, which allows us to bring in Iron Valiant, among other things. And we can do really good damage with that, of course. Outside of that, this is meant to basically be a good pivot Pokemon into things like the Iron Treads and such. I wish Kilowattro got better moves, honestly. It just feels like worse Jolteon in my opinion for this matchup, but it, it's nowhere here nor there. Um, but Kilowattro at least can come in on like Earthquakes. But outside of that, I think we might change over to Voltazor because I've been seeing a lot of Iron Tread play uh, during mocks with Volt Switch. It might be worth it. In the end but at the same time kilowattro doesn't do anything to iron tread so it's more or less just us getting back hp if rocks are up but i don't know uh lastly is our terra pokemon essentially he was designated terra pokemon once i saw chiyu was here terra fairy colossal with lumberry and flash fire fire blast rock polish will is power gem we are hard walled by the goddamn gudra which is fine but not fun now we can burn it and start whittling it down and it can have sludge bomb it can have iron tail whatever it wants as long as we burn it we are in a great position because at least it's taking chip and that means we can get rid of it soon um essentially right we come in on every single chi you set possible besides like nasty plot i guess but like we're fairy type terra we take fire attacks to the flash fire and we can kill it in two power gems 
if Gudra is not there at all, if Gudra is dead or not there, this Colossal can legitimately sweep this team after a rock polish and if Sylveon is weakened. Once those two things are accomplished, quite literally, this Colossal goes ham. And I'm not expecting it to, but it is definitely a Pokemon I want to try and utilize a little bit more at Terra, obviously. Um, but yeah, I gotta name the rest of the Pokemon, obviously. Um, I think we have Bongzong, we have ATV, we have Suzuki, uh, Iron Valiant, I think it's called Gargalade because it's a mixture of Gallade and Gardevoir, and then Watrell and Hardbody the Colossal. So now you know their names at least. Um, that's going to do it for the YCL uh, Week 1 Team Builder portion of this video. Let's go and get right into the battle against SS Side Braves and his Nashville Needle Kings. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and get started here against our opponent this week, uh, SSI Braves and his Nashville Needle Kings. As you can see the team on screen here, um, I think I recorded a team builder. I hope I recorded a team builder. I'm pretty sure I did, but hopefully everything goes well here. Um, if you don't know, this is a part of a double header, honestly, because I did my uh, other battle earlier and that didn't go the greatest. Uh, well, actually, I won't say it didn't go the greatest. I'll just say RNG was in my favor. And it happens. But we fight Side Braves. Uh, you should already know his team if you saw Team Builder Portion. And he brings Sylveon, Iron Treads, Gyarados, Gudra, Chiyu, and Drake Cloak. Huh? Oh. Drake Cloak. Yeah. Oh. Drake Cloak. Drake Cloak? Am I not hip? I. Hmm. Okay. So, okay. Let's focus in. No, no Lycan Rock and no Breloom, but has Drake look. So is that going to be his designated Pokemon to Terra? That's an odd Pokemon to bring here. Okay. Maybe it's because it's Infiltrator. It could be because it's Infiltrator. Um, I'm going to go Suzuki first. Obviously that was the plan the entire time. We're going to go from there. Um, GLHF to our opponent side Braves, and we'll see how it goes. Versus, we are gonna see Jokic, yeah, Jokic, Jokic be the lead. <laughs> oh man, Sword and Shield never, never change with your ever so funny glitches. Gujar is in the fucking floor. That was funny. If they decide to go for a dragon move, that's on them. If they are Scarf, Gujar, and kill it, okay, they are not. We are gonna go for Shed Tail. Obviously, if they go for a dragon move this turn, then this Iron Valiant play looks great. Iron Valiant at plus two literally rips. So that's what I'm going to do. Ice beams. Okay. Does that break sub? It does. Okay. That's unfortunate. I could have gone Bronzong and I think I'm just going to go Bronzong here. I don't see any issue not to. I have to play with my, I have to play, I have to play like with my gut. <laughs> here because 50 20 20 20 minute battles are not fun to do <laughs> um but that's okay he is gonna go for sludge bombs so we do know this has sludge bomb and ice beam um so now we're just gonna go ahead and go for a rocks here i don't really care if it goes for a fire move or not we'll live it every time yep take that with aqua berry wow. oh, we'll definitely take a second one of those that's amazing we'll get up rocks here because i don't think he has any hazard removal and given what I'm looking at on his team, I actually is Iron Treads. What am I saying? Given what's on his team, though, um, if Iron Treads doesn't have removal, this is a really good game for us. I almost want a Trick Room. But if he's going to Flamethrower again, I don't see why I don't go into Hard Body and take it. But, like, also, I don't want to play too much on the nose like that. I'm just going to Jar Ball here. See who he's up to. He should be fine. Oh, Flamethrower. We will take that. We're just going to jar ball, get a little bit of damage, about 20-ish, 25-ish percent. Uh, about 20. Did you see it is going out leftovers? This could, this is probably the assault vest set that I was warned about. Um, Let me just do a calc really quick. Did I not? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go hard body for now. I'm going to import my sets while, I, while we're sitting here. But I forgot to do that, fortunately. Why did it only import two sets? Come on now. What are we doing? Come on. Wh Wait, no, really, really, really. Why did it only import two sets? Oh, is this bonkers? Oh no, this is so bad. This is so bad. 
Dude, where are the rest of my... F oh my god, dude. Okay. I'm gonna have to burn you. Why didn't I Terra? It's okay. I don't think he has a water move. I'm going to say that with confidence. Doesn't have a... Yep, doesn't have a water move. Awesome. It's not... I'm sorry. Hello. Everybody can hear you on the record. Well, they can't, but what's up? All right, well, I'm recording right now, sweetie, just so you have that. All right, love you. All right, bye-bye. Sorry about that. All good. You know, always got to make sure that my wife's doing okay. I can't beat Gudra with this set, so I don't know if he knows that yet, but I'm going to rock polish here. Thunder wave. Get that out of here. Cause cause I'm Lumberry, as you guys might not know. Seriously, it is only importing two of my sets. Oh my god, what the hell is going on today? Why? This absolutely doesn't make any sense, and I'm very not happy with that. Oh my god, it's because it's in sun and moon. I thought I clicked. Okay, man. Sure. Sure, I clicked that. Sure. Okay. Yeah, because he's definitely spit up dose. That makes sense. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I just need to check some of the like, max HP Gudra real fast. 50. It doesn't take a spirit break. If he's just max HP, it doesn't take a spirit break, so I can kill that next time it comes in. I'm just gonna keep power gemming. I think we get rid of Gyarados like this though. Yep, awesome. So Drake Logan is clearly his um is clearly his uh Terramon. Kills Gyarados with uh power gem. Jokic, that is the uh what is that thing called? <laughs> Gudra. Yeah, we'll kill that. I'm going to go into bronze and let and sack that right here because I need this for Chiyu. Damn, I feel, I feel odd about that decision making. I keep forgetting that since I'm streaming, I'm streaming my my browser. So I'm streaming some stuff, I'm streaming a lot. <laughs> and let's just say encoding overloaded is not the worst thing that I've seen today. All right. Anyways, I went for Sludge Bomb, obviously. I'm going to go for Trick Room in case he decides to not go for Flamethrower. No, he does. So I could have doubled out. I could have done that again, but I'm going to allow this to go down. Uh, Bronzong. Bronzong got a Brox, and that's important. This could be Roselli Berry as well. And that's the only thing that is, like, problematic right now. Do we kill this with Cyclozar? I don't think we do. But. But. I need to see something. Uh, it's looking close. I'm going to go for it anyway. I know, bad, bad decisions are happening right now, but I have to try. Okay, he died. Awesome. That is our kill. So Bronzong, what was it? It was Gudra kills Bronzong with flamethrower. And then Cyclozar kills Gudra with Denver. This is... Okay, so that's this Pokemon. Is this an endgame? I think, I think it's time. I think everybody knows what time it is. Hold on. I think, I think we all know what time it is. It's time for, uh, it's time for the goat to come out. If you know, you know. Twitch plays Pokemon ATV in. Y'all know about altering vehicle, bro. I swear y'all know about altering vehicle, bro. Yeah, yeah, get that, get that away from me, chief. No sub breaking here. I said, the only real check to Brillium I have is ATV. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm bringing ATV then. And uh, we'll see how it goes right now. Is he mystical fire? He's light screen. Oh, okay. That's, ain't no, ain't no problem on that. Okay.
and I already Terrasilize. Venomoth is my other terror Pokemon, and I wish I didn't Terrasilize Colossal, but you have to at some point. Um, this is gonna Drain Kiss again. It's not gonna break our sub, thankfully, because I mean we're plus two. That was a crit. How? How offensive is this Pokemon, nigga? My my gut feeling is telling me he could be Light Clay, but my other feeling is telling me I don't care. Sludge Bomb. <laughs> my other gut feeling is saying I don't care. Sludge Bomb. I could Quiver Dance here again, so he might go Iron Treads. We're at Tinted Lens, so Bug Buzz will do a lot to it. Uh, probably about 30-ish percent through Light Screen, but we'll see. If he goes hard into it on my Sludge Bomb play, that's amazing for him. But I think this was a great play overall. He is going to switch out probably into Iron Treads. I imagine. NBA, yeah, that that's that that's Iron Treads. Yeah, that's Iron Tread. He is booster energy. And what is he gonna get? He gets defense. Okay. So he's not Choppleberry, so that's amazing for us. But he is plus one defense, so we gotta consider that every time we hit him. Um I'm pretty sure I'll die to like Iron Head or Heavy Slam or whatever. Um, but I don't have sleep powder, so this is all I got. <laughs> Oh my God! Taken down by an intense blow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry that that crit you. Oh my God, dude, dude, you have no idea. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh no, this is, this is, this is, this is the Venomoth game. Oh no, it's all terrain vehicle, killer of dragons, killer of all. Oh no, I am so fucking sorry. Oh man, but it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. I feel bad, I really do, but damn, I just... You ever look at something and you say, God damn, like you weren't expecting it to happen? That's exactly how I looked at this. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to kill him. <laughs> okay, so that's the nuggets. That could be Scarf, that could be anything. Um, I wanna check something. One for five, it could be whatever. Um, is either one of them stronger than the other? No, I'm bug buzzing them. I could have just quiver danced again, but I don't think that would have made much sense given that I could still easily die. Um, go on Venomoth, do your thing. Do your thing Venomoth, do your thing. Do your thing chicken wing, cause I'm not switching out. It did not kill but it lowered Spadef. Do we die to Dark Pulse? All right, Venomoth. Oh, it is indeed the thing I was talking about earlier. It is Light Clay. Okay, that's fine. What Pokemon does he have left? He has Sylveon, Chiyu, and Drake Loak. That means we can win this with another Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna Sludge Bomb. I, if I Quiver Danced, I mean, I don't know what would happen, but. He died? Okay. Kills Chi with Sludge Bomb. Okay. So, wow. Okay. We are off to the races with this one. Holy shit. Holy shit a moly. I was not expecting that actually. Like, as I've said several times, I am sorry that um, that happened. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and Morning Sun because I need to live and I would like to keep Venomoth as alive as possible. If Venomoth, man, this is a, this is what I was talking about with Chedtail, right? Chedtail enables so much. He's going to Terrasil, obviously. Let's see what Terra type he is. Is he gonna be something that beats directly Iron Valiant? He is Steel. Okay, so I'm really glad in Sludge Bomb part two, um, but he is Steel, which does counteract our Colossal there. We are gonna Morning Sun here. He'll have one more turn of Light Screen though after this. He is just gonna Terra Blast. This could be physical. It should be physical, honestly. It could have been a throw on my part, but I wanted to do it just in case. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. I'm going to Morning Sun again and then Bug Buzz. Because either way, Bug Buzz is resisted and Tinted Lens will make that almost a, a, a guaranteed kill. Well, if he's, if he's, since he's Evil Light, probably won't kill. I shouldn't say guaranteed, but since he's Evil Light, he'll take a lot. He's gonna Terra Blast again. Yeah, we'll live that. All right. There goes light screen. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bug buzz here. It'll do a lot. I don't think it'll kill. Again, Venomoth has done so much for the... 
I didn't say anything. I didn't say a damn thing. I didn't say that wouldn't kill. No one heard that. No one heard that. No one heard that I said that. Holy fuck. Um. Um. Wow. This was the Venomoth game. Okay. I I don't know what else to say about this, honestly. Um. Wow. Holy moly. This was indeed the Venomoth game. Holy shit. Um. Wow. Damn. Well, um, that's gonna do it for YCL. Um, well, I should do it properly. I am gonna chop this up a little bit, um, and make some interesting content for this, obviously. All right, so that's gonna do it for the battle today against Side Braves and his Nashville Needle Kings. Obviously, guys, you, as you saw today, Venomoth went off. And um, for me, I wasn't expecting it, but it's definitely a welcome surprise. I don't recall who we fight next week, but I'm sure it'll be an interesting battle regardless. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.